right, so for this special request, what I'm going to do is I'm going to file and I'm going to create a new document. Um, for something that utilizes wording, you probably want to have something that's wider than taller. So I would say you can do um, an 8 by 10, an 11 by 14. I'm going to go ahead just do a regular page, um, which is an 8.5 by 11. Notice I put the 11 inches on the width, so it's a wider piece. And I'm going to put my resolution up to about 300. I don't want 72. Um, when you use any kind of type with 72, it turns out really um, very low quality, kind of like what you see right there. So with this, what you can do is you can get to, um, let's start with, let's start with some text. Again, there's lots of ways of doing this, so you kind of have to make that decision as to which way works better for you. So I'm going to go ahead and in all caps, that's what I'm going to choose. In all caps, I'm going to go ahead and create that. I'm going to make sure that I have my, I'm going to make it black just kind of to make it easier. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, let's go a little bit bigger than that. And there is my font. I'm going to go ahead and finish that off. I'm going to click off of it. You can see that there's a change a little bit. Sorry, when you resize, sometimes that happens. Now, you're going to want to pick something that's a little bit chunkier. That chunky font will really help you. Let's see. For some reason, this one is acting until you until you click off of it. You're getting all kinds of weird stuff happening. Um, this one, I'm just going to need to make a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so I clicked off of it. You'll see it's going to commit in just a second. I can then edit, free transform, and I can even drag that bigger. And I don't have to hold the shift key down for this. I'm just going to make that bigger. Like I said, it's really acting kind of funky. Every time I click off of it, I'm going to use my keyboard arrows just to nudge it over. Okay. So what you can do is, and maybe that wasn't the best font, but we'll get through it. I'm going to press the enter key and I'm going to go ahead and commit to it. This is something that's a little bit different. I'm going to file and I'm going to place embedded. And I want to go ahead and open up a picture within a picture so that I can get things going. I'm going to go ahead and just select a picture, whatever that photo is that I want to use in there. Make sure it fits over my letters. And once I'm happy with it, I can press the enter key to commit. Now I can turn that layer off and I can go back to my hello. I can grab my magic wand and I'm going to uncheck contiguous. Contiguous means just like the United States, there are 48 contiguous United States. Those are all the states that are touching. So when I click here, this is going to give me that black color anywhere in my document. If I have that checked and I click here, it's only going to give me the black that's connected. Once it hits another value, it's going to stop. So again, I'm going to just go ahead and select all of that. Then I'm going to turn this layer back on and make sure that's the one that is active. I have got my crawling at selection and I'm going to control J. It'll look like almost nothing happened, but you'll see the magic once I turn off those two layers. So you can see that it's got that showing through. I can go to my background and I can paint bucket in, like let's say I wanted to do, um, let's just pick something. Let's say I wanted to put that bright pink in the background. Let's say I want this one. Let's say I want this one. So you can kind of see the impact of the picture coming through those letters. Again, there are some other things that you can do to really kind of make this something extra, extra special. Like if you wanted some outline or some drop shadows, you can double click out here. If you double click out there, that's going to open up this layer style. And I can click that white bar and drag it down a little so you can see kind of what's happening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say stroke. When I put an outer stroke on it, I click on the word. And this is how I can make some changes to it. So like right there, right there, etc. I can also put a, and this is going to be very helpful for some of you. If I go to a lower, I can put a drop shadow. Again, please click on the word and the menu will open. I'm going to put my angle so it goes and I've got the shadowing coming down there. I would like a bit more drop shadow. 
So I want to kind of play around with how it's going to come out and really showcase as well as how much do I want to really come out. So again, those are some ways you can play around with text and images together. This one happens pretty quick, so you would be expected to do kind of a series of images. Um, and I think that's about it. So if you need some extra help beyond that, please let me know. Does that look good? So I will upload that. Kind of choose your fonts very carefully. And then uh, we'll go from there. Sorry. What do you hear for? Yearbook. Yearbook? 